No boba, I hate the boba. I hate the boba, I hate anything boba. You gotta tell them every time, no boba. God, I hate that stuff. Slimy, it's like swallowing little slugs, fish eyes or something. Jesus, it's, it's unseemly. I'd make it illegal. Very quiet here, Saturday lunchtime, Saturday lunchtime. Maybe my little kitty will show up here. Boba, they got Boba anyway. So I'm going to uh, continue to wax philosophical on the issue of the Philippines. Whether to stay or, or go, I, I don't run hot and cold on it. I run right down the middle straddling the fence and then sometimes I lean, you know, pretty heavily one way and then I lean the other way. So the problem is that, and everybody will attest to this here, 
it seems like about once a week it's probably more like a couple of times a month we get hit with or we become aware of some really backwards heinous damn law or rule that the Philippines government has has set forth maybe a long time ago and we just found out about it or maybe two weeks ago and we find out about it and uh, each and every time it's not to the advantage of the American expat or any expat but especially it, it, it just seems to me that they go harder on the American expats it, it, it never seems to dawn on them that America is the wall between them and a Chinese takeover and every time America defends the Philippines it comes out of my pocket the Philippines does not seem to understand that and they just treat us worse and worse and worse new immigration laws every kind of crazy new regulation and there's never any pushback on it because the Filipino people they just say okay okay whatever you want grand leader well that's a good thing to a point but when the laws become so odious and so crazy that they're hurting your quality of life for no gain to the society then you got to stand up as a people and say no no this one isn't going to fly and you got to mediate the government bullying to some degree but the Filipino people won't do it they're so they're so nice you could you could probably say they're nicer than they ought to be and they just let their get, government get away with almost anything at all <coughs> well okay so that's the way the Filipino people want it that's okay it's up to them it's their country it's not my country but they say openly repeatedly copiously that they want the expats here because they bring in so damn much money I bring in uh, let's see can't even calculate let's see uh, 20 30 40 50 God, like 70 or 80 times as much money to the country as a normally paid Filipino 70 or 100 maybe a hundred times so my financial presence here is worth about 80 to 100 normal citizens and it's my country that's defending them from China so you would think they could cut us just a teensy little bit of slack instead of being just honest 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 every week or two honest some new rule some new thing that to us is just crazy God Almighty the latest thing that's got everybody shook up is it's a relatively new law uh, 2021 or 2022 they clarified an older law that said that no person no no adult can be in the presence of any other person male or female under 18 years of age think about that let that soak in for a minute let it percolate now I say I'm walking across this field that's right in front of the camera and uh, there's a group of kids who are playing uh, badminton and as I walk by them, they, they stop and they say, hello, sir. Uh, we're just curious, where are you from? What country are you from? And they're all under 18. By law, by Filipino law, I cannot answer them. I can't even stop. I think even if I don't say anything, I'm not allowed to stop. Because that would be in their presence and I could go to jail, pay a huge fine, and be deported from the country 
for stopping to say, oh, hi, how you doing? I'm, I'm from uh, Germany, I'm from France, I'm from USA, and then I walk on. If I do that, technically I can go to jail. Jail. Philippine jail. And be deported. I'd probably lose everything I own in my condo because they wouldn't let me go get it. And that's crazy. I'm sorry, it's crazy. It's insane. And there are lots of cases where this is actually being prosecuted. A case where a guy uh, had a girlfriend. She had two kids. One, uh, one was a girl, I think 14. One was a boy. I think he was like four. And, a, and a, the girlfriend had to rush to work or she had to go somewhere, some appointment. She said, hey, can you watch my kids? The guy's like, yeah, sure. So the girlfriend leaves and the guy says, hey, you guys hungry? You want some snack? You want some cheesy whiz? You know, let's go down 7-Eleven. So they walk down to 7-Eleven and they get stopped by a guard. The guard says, these your kids? And he says, no, 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 my girlfriend's kids. We're just going to get some, some snacks, you know. And the guard calls the police. The police come put him in jail because he's in the presence of two kids, two minor kids. And I don't know if that guy got deported, but there's lots of, there's plenty of cases. You can go research them. And so guys, now a Filipino in that situation, they probably wouldn't look twice at him. Um, but an expat, you know damn well, he's going to the big house for as long as they can possibly send him there. Because they all uh, secretly or not so secretly do not like expats, they particularly do not like Americans, and they'll go to the to the nth degree to prosecute you for something like that. So that's just the latest, that's, that's just the last thing within the last week, you know, it's like every week or two there's a new thing like that, where people are just, expats are just questioning their presence here and saying, look, there are some perks to the Philippines. There are getting to be fewer and fewer perks to the Philippines, but there are still some perks. But are they worth it for this kind of insanity? Insanity. And in, the, in that same law, it states not only can an adult not be in the presence of a minor, he cannot be in the presence, he or she, I used to have women, I guess, too, cannot be in the presence of, a, of any person 10 years younger than them without a member of their family or a legal appointed guardian being present. So if a guy is 50 and he wants to take his friend who is 50, to, who is 40, out to dinner, some guard technically can approach him and say, hey, how old are you? How old are you? Sir, stand up, put your hands behind your back, go into jail because this person is 10 years younger than you. <laughs> what was the sword that the, that the one king lived under? Demo, Damocles? Damocles? Damocles sword. The sword of Damocles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Where he had to live out his, his reign as king, sitting on the throne, and if you look straight up from him, there's a great big old sword hanging from the hair of a horse's tail could break at any given second go down through the top of his skull that's how we live here as expats and is that worth it not worth it to me anymore not for not for crazy crazy things like that thailand 10 years in thailand and laos and cambodia they had crazy illogical laws but they didn't have anything that crazy that's for damn sure oh no it's mr moocher Miss Moocher, I'm sorry. Miss, little Miss Moocher. Yeah, you want to go on the lap, I know, you always do. No? No, not today, okay. Hmm. Gonna, gonna lounge over there for a while, like the lounge lizard, okay. Cat always looks cranky. 
She's not. She's really sweet, but she always looks cranky like she's peeved. Eyes are slits and ears are back and the tail is twitching. And Just gonna sit here and lounge for a while. 